Hello and welcome to this episode of scrapstanford.blogspot.com's um, video tutorials. We're going to start um, with this lovely lady. The point of today is to um, explain how to do some shading on the face. So we're going to start with just a light coat of E00 and you're going to notice that rather than um, coloring in the circles that we're usually more accustomed we're going to be doing more of a line. And the reason for that is because the face is not smooth. The face rather um, shows depth and age and all sorts of things and smooth lines is not exactly what we're looking for. Um, so this basically lets me do lighter strokes at certain places and darker strokes around others. So if you notice, it is not even. Her face is not even as opposed to normal drawings where we're looking for a really even look. For this, we're not. We're looking for more of a gradient look. I'm going to just smooth this. So now we're going to work on um, sh the shades of the face. Now, just like if you were doing um, your makeup, you're going to want it darker in places where the sun would hit. Okay, around the chin and around the blushful area and later around other places. Okay. Such as the eye, sort of this forehead right here. Remember, you're varying how hard you're pressing down. I'm not pressing down particularly hard in this in this middle area. So now we have two coats. Not 100% happy with this though. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep adding in the layers where the summer reflect off. It's sort of like you're doing bronzer, but um, rather with a face. So there, I'm, I'm decently happy. I'm going to add the blush, which um, is R20 blush. So I'm just going to add it in the cheeks. I'm going to try to make sure that it's pretty even. Um, I'm going to put a little the, the outline. So I'm just framing her. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and do Camdium um, Red for the, the lips. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do her eyeshadow in E33. And I'm going to give her baby blue eyes, which is going to be baby blue, B21. Okay. And um, if you're just tuning in to see how to do a face, our face is done. But I am going to add pizzazz to this image. This is one of my favorite images for ATCs or the like. Right now I just used um, YR09 because you can really pick the colors that you need. Okay. You can make it really, really colorful. Um, if you've been watching these tutorials for a while, you should be getting the hang of how to color. Um, so I'm going to focus a little bit on my color choice um, to explain to you how I usually decide what colors I'm going to do. Um, there are two main ways that I decide. Sometimes it is um, an item that I see or a magazine ad that kind of decides my color palette. Other times it's um, designer paper or um, just really anything. Um, but when I'm usually doing these tutorials, I'm just playing with the color, seeing what colors I like more, what colors I'm not a big fan of, what colors look good together. After a while, you get sort of the hang of realizing the potential of different colors. Um, I tend to like bright color combinations, as you can see from this, this lovely color combination. It's very bright right out there. And here we're using just this yellow 
And that's going to be our last color. Okay. I don't think I missed any words. And then I'm just going to make her a little thing. And then I'm just going to cut it just so you can see how she would look. Okay. And here is a great, great image. Um, I would tend to use this for an ATC. Not so much um, card to give someone. Or just use this part for like a greeting. I also have another variant on how I colored her. Which is with a little bit of brighter colors. And if you... I'm trying to get this on the camera so you can see both images. Um, you can see that this one has been left to dry so it's more shaded. It's a lot lighter around the eyes. Um, you tend to have this blush that looks just so subtle. And again, how the color combination can change the feeling of it. To me, this is more a summer fling, whereas this could almost be a winter card or an autumn with these great colors. Um, and I'm actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to just try a little bit of my Spica color. Just a little here in this pink. And on her lips, Spicas are really great for adding just a little bit of glitter when you want it. And I want it all over my butterfly. Um, so here we go. This is our finished product. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation from scrapstamper.blogspot.com. Thank you.